all top 50 overall picks. Uh -huh. Here are his top 10. What do you guys think? Legends. About LA number with one that overall Colts pick logo. of all time. Listen, about what could have been. I feel like we're back in the fall debating Elliott on his rankings and his picks. But uh, look, obviously Peyton and Bruce were the great choices. I'm going to take John Elway, though, because not only did he get them to all those Super Bowls, not only did he win two, he's still serving the organization. If they don't draft John, if they don't get John Elway in Denver, you know, they, they end up, they don't have him now in the front office. He goes like, to the Colts, I like him in Denver. I like four and five. I look at rings, baby. And yeah. I see Bradshaw. I know it was up and down for Terry Bradshaw at the start, but when he finally got it, four Super Bowl rings, I look at Aikman. Three Super Bowl, like, yeah. if you draft a guy first overall, you're expecting that. Peyton Manning obviously got two. John Elway got two. But those guys, seven between the two of them, when you draft a player first overall, you want to see the success and you want to see the results. Aikman, Bradshaw, those are my yeah. picks. No, I, I agree. I, I like Aikman, but he also had a ton of talent. Sure he did, of course. But still one of the best of all time and still uh, one of the more renowned names in all of football and now as a TV personality. But, uh, you know, even though the names uh, might cause you to think about a few different things, you, you got to mention O.J. Simpson and Earl Campbell. Mm -hmm. I mean, from a pure entertainment standpoint, number one pick is supposed to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. We know automatically as a rookie you're not going to come in and win a ring. We're assuming that. If you're with the right fit, the right team, yeah, you can win a ring. But from an entertainment standpoint, those who watched him live, watched Earl Campbell live, my father played against Earl Campbell, and my, my dad was a good player at University of Washington, went on to play in the Canadian Football League for some time. I said, hey, Dad, who was the best back you ever played against? Without hesitation, mm -hmm. Earl Campbell. He said, the strongest man I ever went up against on the football field. And then you look at him on the pro level, he was running through his jersey mm -hmm. going up against. Do you think that factors in the, is it, you think that factors that entertainment value? If you have that number one pick that you want to get someone who's got dazzle and who's going to sell tickets and sell jerseys. I think so. Well, you look at Miles Garrett because. Uh, well, I look at Fournette then. Well, look at Fournette. Because I take Fournette then if you're looking at entertainment well, value. Here's right? the thing, though. Will the Browns win the Super Bowl? No, not this year. What do you say? Everybody, we agree. Not in 2017. The odds are slim, right? We, we all agree. But if Miles Garrett comes out and he's just an absolute dog, mm -hmm. gets after the quarterback, pulls some J.J. Watt stuff where he's picking off, getting the strip sack, and he gets an end zone, you might be upset your team's not winning, yeah. but the entertainment value is so high that you're like, you know what? I'm looking forward to the next couple of years. And you do want Fournette. As, as a fan, I want And I agree with you on Fournette. So I, wonder, I, I wonder if I'm in the fans and I got the cheap seats up there and I'm going for years. Get me the best player. I don't care if he's a zero personality. I don't care if he's an offensive yes. guard. I, I look at, look, we go back to Charlie Casserly. Reggie Bush was Michael Jordan in cleats in college. He was the most exciting player I've ever seen. Yep. And he says, no, I'm not taking him. I know the fans want him. I'm taking Mario Williams, yeah. who is, does not have the name, does not have the most as glamorous a position. Right. And it was the right pick. Yeah. And it worked out right. And Charlie took him over Vince Young, who was not a hero too. in Texas. Right. So sometimes the GM just needs to focus in. And Miles Garrett is the right pick, right? I mean, this is a guy that everyone says checks all the boxes character-wise, has the physical presence. Take him. However. However. But, 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 but. but Cody Kessler and Kevin Hogan are their quarterbacks right now. If you fall in love with Trubisky and you yeah. don't think he's going to be there at 12, do mm. you take Trubisky? No. And then Fournette is this wild card. I know everyone's crazy saying, you would never take a running back first overall. Uh -huh. I would love it. Teams are in love love with Leonard Fournette. Peter, if you were drafting based purely on excitement to get the fans excited about who you're bringing in, who's your number one overall pick? Sure. First overall pick, yes. Christian McCaffrey is my first overall pick. I'm going with Holmes. Bring him in. Number one overall. I love this gunslinger. All right, let's move back here for Elliot Harrison's complete ranking of all the number one overall picks you guys like can visit NFL.com.